Hi guys, so picking your keywords for your AdWords campaign is no different from an SEO campaign. You can still use SEMrush for that. If you look at any website, a competitor's website, you will be able to see the organic search and of course the paid search traffic. So if we click on that, we can see an overall analysis of what is going on. And this example is the Digital Marketing Institute. Now we can see what keywords they bid on. There's 558 of them. Um, a lot of these are digital marketing related keywords, but I'm sure SEO training, um, courses, all that kind of stuff, that's what these guys do. So they of course bid on a lot of these keywords. So you can go and see what keywords, what the search volume is, what traffic these guys get from those keywords. And you can also see the average cost per click. Um, so you can see that, but you can also see the position changes. You can also see keywords that are new, keywords that are lost. They probably removed them. They've not just disappeared. They're probably removed because they, they're not great. Um, you can see who Sam Rush sees is competition. So we can have a look at the competition. We can see what common keywords they've got, what their paid traffic is, and all that kind of stuff. But more importantly, we can see their ads. What is working for these guys? Now we can see the ad, the title, the URL, what they're actually saying in their ad, very simple and easy, and also what keywords are assigned to that ad as well. Um, so we can really go through and analyze their full pay-per-click campaign, even right down to the ad copy. So really important that you can look at that. You can also see their ad history, Digital Marketing Institute, they've bid on it all the way throughout the year. There'll be certain keywords in certain niches that were maybe only used at certain times of the year, maybe more seasonal stuff. Um, so you can actually go through and see what they're bidding on in what month and all that kind of stuff as well. So you can download all of that kind of stuff as well. You can export that stuff. And if you've got a higher package, you can go and see a lot of historical data as well but my package unfortunately doesn't have that um but you can use advertising research um, to see the ad copy the keywords that are being used you can also um try ad clarity um you can dis uh, explore display ads social ads video ads um, that's something you might want to look at if you're competition doing YouTube and so on. So make sure when you're doing your research though, you do not just go by keywords that Google suggest. Because if I go in here and click and search keywords on that campaign that I set up, it's going to eat me alive. It's going to let me add everything. Bang, 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 bang. I can add them all, click save. And then if I was to go back to that again, it will give me more. Ad group one, it will just feed me stuff all day long just to eat up all my money. That doesn't mean these keywords are the best choice in keywords. They've got to work. And why try and reinvent the wheel when you can go onto SEMrush and look at the ads your competition are using down to the ad copy. So that is something you need to do before you go and set up your campaign. Get it all down, export it all, and go in and set up the campaign, which is in the next video, and then we'll go from there.